Welcome to Wilson Art Adhesives. For over 40 years, Wilson Art Adhesives has been a pioneer and innovator in the development of contact and PVA adhesives. Wilson Art has assisted fabricators with specifically formulated adhesives designed to work well with Wilson Art laminate and other surfacing products. Today, we will demonstrate Wilson Art pressurized canister contact adhesive. We will illustrate the proper load, coverage, and open time of this adhesive. Then show proper ways of applying adequate pressure when bonding high pressure decorative laminate to a substrate. WA740, which is pigmented red and is very easily seen when applied. Wilson Art offers non-pigmented adhesives for applications where no dye is preferred. Always start with the proper equipment, so check the technical data sheet for product specific recommendations. This is a must for a successful bond. Well cleaned and maintained equipment is vital to getting the most from your adhesive. Apply 2.5 dry grams per square foot minimum to each surface. Proper atomization is needed to create mating sites on each surface. After setting up the equipment, it's time to apply adhesive. Using a parallel line to the components approximately 6 to 10 inches above the surface, apply adhesive at a medium rate of left to right steady movement. Be sure not to fluctuate up and down from the surface as this can cause inconsistency in the adhesive coverage. Overlap your pattern approximately a quarter of your overall spray fan pattern. Be careful to apply adequate adhesive on the edges. Cross your pattern once you are complete with your first passes. If you are going right to left, go up and down. Be sure to apply a good crossing pattern, which will apply a good load and coverage. Another option is to apply over in the same direction, once again overlapping the spray pattern. Poor spray techniques or wrong equipment settings can result in irregular amounts of adhesive, which will cause issues with proper bonding. Sudden stops, being too close to the component, slow speed can cause excessive amounts of adhesive to build up, causing an extended open time in that area. If applied still wet, an adequate bond will not occur. Excessive blushing of the laminate face is a good indicator that excessive amounts of adhesive have been applied and or the humidity is too high and may require extended dry time. If there is moisture on the laminate face, it's very likely on the adhesive layer also. The blush is caused from the rapid evaporation of the solvents, which causes the temperature in the immediate area to drop. When the temperature reaches the dew point, moisture will form on the surface of the adhesive. This moisture will interfere with the two adhesive layers making contact. Another possible issue is swinging, erratic movement, and being too far from component as you are applying adhesive. This will limit the amount of load and provide a very sporadic coverage, thus accelerating the open time in that area and limiting the bond strength. Dry time is two to five minutes. This will provide time for the solids to flash off after adhesive is applied to surfaces and prior to the open time beginning. The open time, 30 minutes, is very important. This is the window of time that begins when an adhesive is applied to the substrate and ends when the laminate is applied to make an assembly. If the open time is exceeded, 30 minutes, reapply a light coat of adhesive to reactivate. Temperature and humidity affect open time. Correct pressure is a must. If you can't use a set pinch roller, hand pressure should only be applied using a 3 inch J roller. 30 to 40 PSI is required to meet both surfaces. Blocks of wood, rubber mallets, and incorrect roller configurations are not sufficient. If the applied pressure is too low, this can cause bond failure, so make sure to apply sufficient pressure. For cleaning overspray on the laminate, we recommend Wilson Art 121 Cleaner. This cleaner will remove or ball up the overspray and leave a clean surface.